What is up YouTube and welcome to this Flash video. No, this isn't a Flash Season 3 or even a Flash Season 4 video. This is about the Flash show from 2003. No, that you may not remember that because it didn't actually exist, but there was going to be a Flash 2003 show. So, if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is super appreciated. And if you're like me, you would be old enough to remember the first boom of superhero movies and TV shows. I mean, it pretty much started off with X-Men and Spider-Man coming out around about 2000. And then we soon got Smallville, which was probably... And I've seen a lot of you, a lot of you in my comments, hating on Smallville. Right, if there was no Smallville... There would be no Arrow. If there was no Arrow, there'd be no Flash. If there was no Flash, there'd be no Legends of Tomorrow. If there's no Legends of Tomorrow, well, you get it. So, if you had no Smallville, you wouldn't have had the shows that you love so much right now. So, Smallville pretty much kicked off, started on the WB. Yes, the WB actually later became the CW and I remember spinning out I was worried I was like oh Smallville is going to be cancelled but no it came over to the CW but in the UK I was watching on E4 so of course Smallville kicked this all off and Flash TV News on Twitter and the website have actually got a really really cool scoop now, one of the things that I like some of these websites actually do, they look back at the old Wizard previews magazines, the old Variety magazines, and actually take a day and kind of compare the news from then to today. So we've seen some quite funny zingers. I mean, we had the original Justice League movie being previewed and said that it was in production. And of course, here, apparently... In 2003, in Variety, it was reported that a Flash TV show was being created. Now, this was actually being created by the WB. And if you were a fan, if you, have, actually, if you haven't seen Smallville, then you won't know this. But we actually sort of had the Justice League. Their version of the Flash was Bar Allen. And we briefly saw him race against... Clark in at Smallville as well so really really cool fanboy moment there I thought it was really awesome and we had our Justice League and I might actually go back and watch all of Smallville again because I haven't watched it since it first aired so this Flash 2003 show is interesting because to be honest it doesn't actually sound that good so apparently the Flash our version of the flat, this flash we were going to get, was going to be a college graduate from Gotham City. And, well, yeah. He was going to use his powers to actually travel through time each week. And each time he goes to another time period, this is an episode. So this is like sliders. It's sort of like Quantum Leap. And also... It is a lot like Gotham, or uh, Legends of Tomorrow even, not Gotham, Gotham City Heroes, I mean, don't know what that is. But what this is, is, so what this says is that once our hero gets his calling, he's given the advice, live fast so others don't die young. This is a story about a guy who's aimlessly drifting through life and barely moving at the speed of life. I guess that means light, when he discovers his calling is to move at the speed of light. Wow, that is cheesy. That is cheesy as hell, and it's very, very 2000, isn't it? Let's be brutally honest there. And to be honest, this doesn't actually sound that good. I don't think I would actually be interested in that. So they wanted to do like a kind of time tunnel show, and apparently each week it would be... A different mission and a different kind of adventure and he also has a mentor that would actually train him but this doesn't actually sound that good to be honest and really this is all the information we actually have to be honest now we weren't actually going to get a flash until the flash appeared in smallville in 2004 so it was 
probably, I mean, 2001, we had three years or three seasons until we actually got a flash on that show. Now, weirdly, according to Flash TV News as well, is what, what I thought was pretty cool is that this news was announced the same day that we actually got Christian Bale to be announced to be Batman, which is, well, that's a weird parallel there. But having this, I, I'm not sure if this would have actually worked, to be honest. I don't know, because this show sounds corny as hell. I don't think that they, I think they just wanted to take the name of The Flash, and they wanted to just give him a different episode each week. They just wanted someone who could run fast, have the name of The Flash, and just get people in to watch the show. Because really, Smallville is not really a Superman episode show. It's more a kind of Clark Kent show. And it wasn't kind of really a Superman show, to be honest. It, it was more of an origin story. Much like Gotham actually is. Except Gotham is probably more the storyline of Owlman. Let's be brutally honest there. But that is it for this video. Would you have been interested in this show? Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. And goodbye.